multi-award-winning superstar, Drake, is known for his record-breaking music albums but alongside his rapping exploits, he has picked up a quite staggering betting habit. The Canadian rapper is known for posting his outrageous stakes to his 132 million Instagram followers. From boxing to NFL, UFC to basketball, football to baseball, and even Formula One, Drake has covered a substantial variety of sports with his wild Bitcoin stakes. In this video, we'll take a look at the good, the bad, and the ugly of Drake's betting obsession. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel. Drake's betting has sometimes raked in millions, but the rapper has also managed to pick up the reputation of bringing a curse down on those who he backs. The Drake curse has fast become a phenomenon in sport, with numerous teams and athletes losing an upcoming sporting event after coming into contact with him. Recently, the 36-year-old rapper made headlines for his audacious 335,000-pound stake on Jake Paul knocking Tommy Fury out. Unfortunately for Drake, British boxer, Tommy Fury defeated Paul in Saudi Arabia, leaving the rapper's pockets significantly less filled, with Paul jokingly blaming the curse of Drake for losing the fight. Many thought that the Drake curse was broken when the rapper backed Argentina to win the World Cup final against France. Drake put £837,000 down on Argentina to win and would have stood to win more than £2.26 million had Lionel Messi's side won in normal time. Although Argentina ultimately triumphed on penalties, a technicality saw Drake facing another substantial loss. Drake must have thought he was set for millions when Messi and Angel Di Maria put Argentina to zero up in the first half, but a late brace from Kylie and Mbappé forced extra time and put an end to Drake's hopes of a major win. Drake has also had his fair share of wild UFC bets and it hasn't always gone to plan. In March last year, Drake lost $275,000 after backing Jorge Ms. Vidal to beat Colby Covington at UFC 272 in Las Vegas. Unfortunately for the rapper, underdog Ms. Vidal suffered defeat by a unanimous decision. Drake's misery was compounded just two months later when he lost another $427,000 after backing Justin Geist to beat Charles Oliveira at UFC 274. Things got better for Drake after winning a staggering $1 million when Israel Adesanya beat Jared Cannonier, and 10 days later, the Canadian rapper won a sensational $3.72 million at UFC London after Potty Pimblet and Molly McCann both picked up stoppage wins. Drake placed a stake of $2.3 million on the Liverpool duo to win their respective fights in London and to mark their victories, he bought the two fighters a Rolex each. The next month though, Drake went back to losing after Kamaru Usman's shock knockout defeat to Leon Edwards, while Jose Aldo was beaten by Merab Dvalishvili at UFC 278. The hip-hop artist staked a total of $200,000 on the Nigerian Usman to defeat Edwards, having also placed a bet of around $230,000 on Aldo to defeat Dvalishvili. Drake capped off the year 2022 with another loss, losing a breathtaking $2 million after backing Israel Adesanya to beat Brazilian Alex Pereira at UFC 281 in November. Earlier this month, he placed £415,000 on two separate bets for John Jones to beat Frenchman Cyril Gain, one via stoppage and another via submission. Drake finally backed a winner, with Jones emerging from his UFC heavyweight championship clash victorious via submission giving Drake an estimated payout of $1,700,000. Drake is known for his love for American sports, but that has not stopped him dabbling in British football. In October 2022, before his World Cup loss, Drake staked £537,000 on Arsenal and Barcelona to win. While the Gunners pulled through with a 1-0 win over Leeds, Barcelona lost 3-1 to Real Madrid in a devastating EL Clasico for the musician. Drake has proved to have more luck when it comes to American football. The Canadian rapper had Patrick Mahomes to thank when the Kansas City Chiefs won Super Bowl 57. 
Drake won one of his seven bets which he had coined as psychotic before the iconic event began, but he did walk away with a huge $512,000 profit after scooping $1.5 million on the KC Chiefs win. In 2021, Drake also took home $300,000 profit after gambling $1.25 million for correctly predicting the LA Rams would beat the Cincinnati Bengals to win the Super Bowl 56, while he also had Adele Beckham Jr. down to score an anytime touchdown. Drake also lost $390,000 on a separate stake on Beckham Jr., while he recovered $235,000 on Drake London to be the first drafted wide receiver. His success continued when he cashed out a staggering $2 million from a $287,000 stake when the Buffalo Bills, Dallas Cowboys, and the Kansas City Chiefs all won their week for contests. Drake has also felt success in basketball, baseball, and hockey winning $730,600 in April 2022 thanks to the Golden State Warriors and the Dallas Mavericks. Meanwhile, he cashed in around $115,000 from baseball when Toronto Blue Jays beat the Boston Red Sox. His fortunes continues when he turned $309,000 into $2.35 million thanks to the Dallas Mavericks, Calgary Flames, and the New York Rangers. Unfortunately, the rapper lost $450,350 after incorrectly predicting the New York Rangers to win the NHL Eastern Conference Finals and the Golden State Warriors in the NBA Championship Series. He would have won around 1.33 million pounds. Drake has even tried his luck with F1, placing $275,000 on Ferrari's Charles Leclerc to win the Spanish Grand Prix in 2022. However, Leclerc retired 27 laps in and two-time champion Max Verstappen triumphed, losing Drake out on $750,000. More recently, Drake has been posting so many casino wins on his Instagram stories that it's starting to look like he's a professional gambler. Drake has reportedly bet over $1 billion at Canadian crypto betting site, Stake, since joining the platform in December 2021, which has left many people speculating whether there's a partnership in place. A few years ago, Drake made the headlines when he lost nearly $200,000 at the Hard Rock Casino in Atlantic City when he was on tour. This would financially ruin most people. But for someone whose net worth is estimated to be around $180 million, a $200,000 loss would barely be a drop in the ocean. Earlier this year, a video was doing the rounds on social media of Drake dropping a single $200,000 bet on Relentant winning over $7 million. Then he placed a $1.3 million worth of Bitcoin bet on the Super Bowl, which he won. It's currently unclear whether Drake has been betting from his own wallet or whether it's all part of a partnership with the Canadian crypto betting site. Neither has publicly acknowledged any relationship, however. The stake logo has featured prominently on the rapper's Instagram stories, leading many to believe Drake is being paid to promote them. Whether it's just for PR or Drake really does love betting with cryptocurrency, it's certainly gaining a lot of media attention and is proving entertaining for the rapper's follower base. And that's the scoop on Drake's betting addiction. If you enjoyed watching this video, drop a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this.